Hello everyone, shalom, it is Mackie, um, uh, this is now my third video, third and possibly final as far as school goes, I'm not sure if I'm going to do elementary school just cause, I don't know, kids, I don't know how young kids these days are using the internet, <laughs> that makes me seem old, but um, this is going to be my top 10 for going to college. Now, college college is pretty important, pretty big deal, so, uh, and I'm going to go into more detail about some of these top 10 points, so I'm going to make this like a three or four part video, possibly three, more than likely three. Um, now, let's start off. Number one take a car if you can. Now when you go to college, the reason why I say this is because it's very very, it's a psychological thing. I mean, well, for me personally, but also I feel for a lot of college freshmen, um, it's very very easy to feel stuck and thus panic. Like, if you don't have a car, especially if you're really far from home, or if this is your first time from home, uh, so, if you can take a car, now, the way it works, typically, at least in America, is the bigger the university, the more likely you will be able to take a car as a freshman now. That goes without saying, you can still have a car without having a car. Now parents, this is important. My mother did not listen to me on this point. You, There are ways that it, all you have to do is honestly just park your car off campus. The rule which states freshmen cannot bring cars. That does not mean you can't have a car, period. That means freshmen can't have cars, brackets, on campus, brackets. Alright, so keep that in mind. Um, and also, another point to make about the car, it's simpler uh, when you are going home for break. Uh, college, you will be going on break at weird fucking times. Excuse my French, weird times. But, so, if your parents are, like, younger, 40s or 50s at this point, and they still work, especially, uh, or if you're the oldest sibling, it may make plans simpler, just because when you go on break, you won't have to rely on a ride home. And it will be cheaper as well. Much, much, much cheaper. Much cheaper. Um... It just makes the transition easier, so take a car if you can. Um, moving on to the second point, and I said this as well in high school, but this is for all the time in college. Keep track of dates. Once you get into college, you will have a lot of shit to do. You will be spreading yourself very, very thin, or it can be easy to spread yourself thin. Uh, so try to keep track of stuff, especially tests, just because... Um, like, they're really important. A lot of teachers, well, professors now, excuse me, uh, will have three tests, and that will be what your grade rides on. So when that test comes up, you will want to know. Um, just helps you keep track of stuff, makes it easier on you, less stress, so you won't forget things. Easy. Um, number three. And this has to be the most important is, and this is probably the one that I'm going to talk about the most, know the ins and outs of your school's academic policies. This is extremely important. What most children will not know when they go to college, once you graduate, is that if you get below a 2.0 GPA, you cannot graduate. From your school. This means that 
uh, each semester, your cumulative GPA goes below a 2.0, they will put you on what is called academic probation, more than likely, or academic warning, whatever your school calls it. Um, and they don't tell you that if this happens, you know, it happens to the best of us. It happened to me. It's currently happening to me, unfortunately. Um, however, you you need to know these things, I feel, before you go to school because I was not aware of it at all. You're not told at any point, at any point, until it matters, at least at my school, that that's a thing and that's a policy, unless you peel through the academic catalog like a weirdo. If you do that, I'm sure you're a very nice person, just kidding. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and then also, uh, at my school, once you are a junior, or once you have above, I think it's 55 credits, they don't put you on academic probation. If you go below a 2.0, they just straight up kick you out for a semester. This is currently happening to me. As a personal experience, I know this. I was not made aware of this until I was sitting with an advisor at my school talking about this. So this may be the last semester that you see me here. Because if they kick me out, I'm saying screw this crap, I'm leaving. Uh, honestly, that made me extremely upset that I did not know this. And the reason why I put this in my top 10 is because other students need, need to be aware of that. They, I mean, because that's a big deal. You don't want to. You don't want to get freaking kicked out of school. What the hell? Like, that's not cool. That's not cool. University, screw you. You know what I mean? Like, they need to... And this is, if you're working at a university and you're watching this, I don't know how your school does their stuff, but please make it a point to make students aware of this fact. Please. Please. Because no one wants to get kicked out of school at all. I can't say this enough, like, I don't know, as far, this is, this is, number three is the most, that is the most important point in my top ten. Just make sure you're aware of that, look into everything first, ask questions, um, and a mini point in addition to that, um, make sure that, well, you have to meet with an advisor before you register for classes each semester in college. So make sure uh, when, you're un when you're undeclared you get randomly assigned an advisor. So make sure that the person who you're meeting with is no bullshit. Like make sure that you ask the specific questions that you need to ask when you go into that meeting as far as grade. Because that's how you're going to find out that information also. A or anything else that you may need to know that I may not know. I don't know. They don't tell me anything here. Um, so, I'm going to end this here. Uh, I will be making part two right as soon as I cut this camera off. Uh, as I will say again, uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. And uh, shout out to the two people who subscribed to me already. In the first two days, two subscribers. That's one per day. I think that's very good. Um, also, be sure to comment on this video to request an Ask Mac or a Top 10. Uh, I will be responding to anything. Even if it's something you may think I know nothing about, I'm perfectly free to give my opinion. Uh, I'll give you my honest, most knowledgeable opinion. Um, so comment, like, watch uh, if you want another video. And... I will see you in the next part. Peace.